Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Well, we are here at the end of the year, and it is time to have something celebratory to ring in the new year. So today, we are having three sparkling wine cocktails that are gonna be festive and fun. So whether you are celebrating with friends, by yourself, if you're just looking to jazz up that bottle of bubbles that's in your fridge, here are three recipes for you. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make three sparkling cocktails to the bar. All right, before we jump into the recipes, I've got a bottle of bubbles in front of me. This happens to be champagne, but you don't need champagne. Any dry sparkling wine will do. Don't point this at your face or anybody else's. Always keep pressure on the cork. There's a little cage here, get rid of this. And then when opening it up, grab hold of that cork and turn the bottle underneath it, gently letting the pressure push the cork out. There we are. I just opened a bottle of bubbles. You can too. If you want, you could you know, shoot it across the room, but this is more the proper way and the safer way to open it. First cocktail is going to be the champagne cocktail. This is one that dates back to the mid 1800s. Very easy to make. However, I tend to take this one a few steps further. So I'm gonna show you how I make it. For this cocktail, we will need sparkling wine, cognac, Angostura bitters, sugar cubes. You just need one sugar cube if you're making one, one per cocktail, an orange, and a lemon. Couple things here real quick. The cognac is not in the original champagne cocktail, but it is popular to add it in there and I like it in there. A few things I like to have prepped. Number one, you want this to be a cold drink. We're not adding ice, we're not diluting it. So first and foremost, make sure your sparkling wine is cold. If you wanna take it a step further, I like to put a little bit of cognac in the freezer before I make this drink so that the cognac's cold too. Because again, we're not gonna be adding ice and diluting this. So. Let's build. We've got a chilled flute. We're gonna start with a sugar cube. Now these can be brown sugar cubes, white sugar cubes, it doesn't matter. Put that into a bar spoon and then grab your Angostura bitters. Mine is in a dropper bottle and saturate the sugar with the bitters. Let the sugar cube soak it all up. It's a very soothing process. Once that sugar cube has soaked up all the bitters, go ahead and drop that right at the bottom. Now we can add our ice cold cognac. I just put this much in the freezer I'm not even gonna use this much, but if I wanna make another, I've got it. I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of the chilled cognac right on top of the sugar cube. So then we can add the bubbles. Now we wanna pour this gently. It's gonna be about five ounces, four to five ounces of the sparkling wine. I find it helps if you pour it at an angle into the glass so it doesn't foam over. Now, all we have to do is a little expressed orange oil and lemon oil on top. You could do one or the other, but I like to do both. Lemon across the top and the orange. Discard that, it is all set. There it is, that's it. Festive, fun, what a beautiful looking drink, the champagne cocktail. I love how the sugar cube just continuously pushes up bubbles from the bottom. This is not a sweet cocktail, even though there's a whole lump of sugar at the bottom. It's a dry cocktail. You'll taste a little bit more of the sugar when you get down toward the end. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, I gotta say, I love it with the cognac. One thing that is really good is the lemon and the orange on top. I, it seems like it would be such a subtle thing, but to get that bright nose of fruity goodness, and it makes this lovely sound. This is the sound of a happy cocktail. Mm. On to number two, the airmail. This one dates back to the 1940s. This is a great bubbly cocktail if you like a daiquiri because there is rum and lime. So we are gonna need that same bubbly wine. We will also need a lighter rum, fresh lime juice, and a honey syrup. This is three parts honey to one part hot water. That thins it out a little bit. It just simply makes it easier to work with. I do like a light rum for this. Um, I believe the cocktail was created in Cuba, so it would have been a Cuban style rum, which I can't get here in the States, but a Puerto Rican rum, Don Q Gold, is a great choice. It makes for a great cocktail. So, let's build, huh? Let's do it. Grab a shaking tin. I'm going to serve this up in a coupe, also called a champagne saucer, which is very appropriate, but I know a lot of people will serve this on the rocks too. Let's start with the rum. I'm gonna do one ounce of your light rum. To that, let's add half an ounce of the honey syrup, match that with the fresh lime. Half an ounce of fresh lime juice. It also rinses out the jigger. We'll shake this up real quick with ice. Say 10 seconds tops. No, I shouldn't say that. Kinda depends on your ice. There we go. Grab your chilled glassware. 
double strain into the cocktail glass. This is not going to fill up your cocktail glass and it's not supposed to. And now we can top with the sparkling wine. In my case, it's gonna be two to three ounces. Let's say two ounces. Careful not to let it overflow. I mean, that just, that looks inviting. You could garnish this with a sprig of mint if you'd like, but honestly, I like it without any garnish. As long as you've got those nice bubbles happening. I'm gonna go with no garnish. Cheers. Mmm, that's really nice. It is kind of like a sparkling daiquiri, but you do have that honey in there, which gives it a nice richness. All right, this last one, this is a mashup. So I'm taking a classic gin-based French 75, and I am combining it with a bramble, one of my favorite summer drinks. I'm calling it the Bram Bubble. Uh, if, if, if you have a better name for it, I'm all ears. Leave a comment down below but it is a tasty beverage. So let's go into making that one, the Bram Bubble. All right, surprise, surprise, we are gonna need sparkling wine. We are also going to need gin, creme de mure, fresh lemon juice, and simple syrup. This is my semi-rich simple syrup, one and a half parts sugar to one part water. Creme de mure is a blackberry liqueur. Now, if you don't have creme de mure, this would also be good with Chambord, which is raspberry, or if you want, you could use a blackberry jam. That would be good too. All right, in a shaking tin, let's start with the gin. One ounce of gin. I like a dry gin for this. Half an ounce of the creme de mire. Quarter of an ounce of the semi-rich simple syrup. I know, you might be thinking, why are you adding the simple syrup if the creme de mire is already sweet? That's a great question. The simple syrup, the semi-rich simple syrup, gives a little bit of texture because we are gonna be pouring this on the rocks and we are going to uh, be diluting it a little bit, you know, with the bubbly wine, which is gonna thin it out. So I like to have a little bit of weight to it. Then we've got the fresh lemon juice, half an ounce, add ice and shake. Because we are gonna be pouring this over ice, we don't need to shake this for long. Grab a chilled Collins glass, fill it up with ice, and then we can strain the cocktail into the Collins glass while we carefully pour the bubbly wine. This is gonna be about four ounces of the sparkling wine. Be patient, make sure you get all of the contents of the shaking tin in there. And just gently twirl it around, make sure everything's incorporated. I'm gonna garnish it with some blackberries because I have them. There we have the, the Bram Bubble. Cheers. I really love that one. Very good, this is really easy to drink. So, you know, caution. There we are. Now, before all of these bubbles die and everything warms up, I would like to invite Oz on here to get her feedback and wish everyone a happy new year. Oz, happy new year. Happy, I get to have it after you <laughs> already <laughs> drank them. Yeah. Okay, cheers everyone. Mm, that is drier than you would expect it to be. Mm -hmm. But you, I really like it. Uh, we could. Oh, you could stir it up a little. You could agitate it. It just makes even more bubbles. Oh yeah. Yeah? That sweetened it just a touch. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna try the next one. Airmail. Airmail. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm, I taste the honey. Next, the Bram Bubble. <laughs> that's a clever name. That's a good name. We could call it the Bram Bubble. Bram Bubble. Oh, oh. yeah, that's good. For tea. Yeah, thank you all so much. I uh, appreciate the support. Thank you for watching these videos. We've had some great drinks over the past year. We've got many more drinks ahead of us. Well, yeah. oh, hi, Frank. So, <gasps> there we are. Thank you, everybody. Happy New Year. Sign up for the newsletter. Don't forget your merch. We will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year's. I kind of want to eat this sugar cube. Can I eat this? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.